Hey you, and welcome back to Deal Therapy. Thank you so much for being here today. Happy spring. I hope you had a fantastic winter and it was everything that you needed it to be. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. It's going to be the last episode in the season, although the season has changed over, just because I try to like it, keep it like to keep it between 8 and 12 episodes. So I hope you don't mind. Uh, next week we will pick back up with the fresh uh, season 8 for spring. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I found these home with a heart microfiber dish dryer mats. This one's yellow. I pretty much picked up each color. We have this pattern that kind of reminds me of a shoot of wheat or something like that. Then we've got these black ones. Um, I got two of these just because they were my favorites um, and I didn't want one to get tattered and not have a backup. These are actually pretty good sizes. The ones that Dollar Tree gives us, I usually get two just to be able to do my dishes and actually have adequate space. But these, you probably only need one of them. So depending on how many dishes you got going. And then uh, this pattern here, these two green ones which I think are really pretty. And I only picked up one of the, um, this sort of like terracotta color, but they did have it in this pattern as well. So I got all of these um, to have to dry my dishes and or to give for gifts, but I think these are a fantastic deal for just $1.25. Okay, I got more mascara from <laughs> Beauty Intuition. They like to give us a bunch of different kinds for some reason, and because the packaging is so attractive, I usually pick up at least one of the collection. So this one is Rich Color Instant Length, and it's smudge proof, and it is in black. They had two or three other varieties. Then I got some Pretty Woman Faux Nails. These have some pink and blue flames on them. I felt like if you were going to a gender reveal party, I thought this would be cute for that. Helios Nail Systems, I got a very basic. Now these are the only ones I've seen so far. I've seen all over the country you guys are hauling all kinds of cool patterns, different lengths, all kinds of things, but this is the, these are the only ones I saw. Um, and I'm not too mad about it because it's French manicure and that's a very versatile type of pattern. I got from one and only this Argon Oil Cream to Serum Styler. I've never tried any such product, so I'm hoping that it works pretty well. This is Shine and Smoothness Frizz Control with Brilliance, um, but yeah. One and only, as far as the product goes, I'm seeing this for way more in other places. I didn't, I've never heard of this brand, but apparently they're pretty high end. Um, they come from out of, it's Babilis Pro, and they're from out of Illinois. Um, but yeah, so was happy to find that. Can't wait to try that out. And then I got this curl cream. Um, it's Moroccan Argan Trees derived from. And this should be pretty good as well. Again, I'm seeing it for a really high price point in other places. So I'm hoping to find the um, coconut oil mend end mender or something like that. I haven't seen that one yet, but I want to find that one because your girl needs help with her ends. Um, I do need a trim, but other than that, I felt like that could tide me over between salon visits. These are so cute to me. These are the new um, mugs. They are a green briar product, but this speckling inside, um, they've really stepped up their like pottery game. I'm super duper feeling this mug. <sighs> I really don't need any other mugs, but I felt like if I didn't pick it up now and then I got FOMO later that I would regret it. So I got that one and I got this one. So these two together to me are just so darling. If you're just having like your morning coffee with your partner or any visitor, just a single visitor, I think this set just looks so cute and you can really make a moment out of it. And again, I'm just in enamored with the speckling that's in there. So pick these two up. I got some Stay Awake. Um, you, This says compare it to Viverin, the active ingredient in Viverin, and it does have caffeine uh, for mental alertness and is equal to about a cup of coffee. There are times where I don't prefer to take coffee, but I do need the benefits of the caffeine. Um, for whatever reason, road trips is one that is coming to my mind right now. And so you don't have to use the bathroom and you don't have the diuretic effects, but you do have the alertness. So I picked these up to try, you get 15. From Mahatma, 
chipotle jasmine rice you get 8.807 ounces 8.8 .8 ounces <laughs> and mahatma is my go-to rice i get the long grain wild rice in the pack all the time from walmart i think i get it from um so i'm excited to try this um probably will taste fantastic on like a taco or something like that got this then I got some Chupa Chups. Um, these are three flavors I found. One is in strawberry swirl, one is in watermelon mix, and this one is orange pop. They are a lip balm. Um, Chupa Chups actually comes out of, well, it's developed in UK and made in China, but um, I can tell you that internationally, they seem to be a lot more popular than here in the States. I remember these from like junior high school when, um, Spice Girls were out <laughs> and they used to have the Chupa Chups um, lollipops with the Spice Girls stickers in them. So anyway, found this to be like super nostalgic and cute and perfect for uh, gift baskets or Easter baskets that people are making. Then I found from Eco Tools these two shower puffs, this one in this blush sort of pink color and this one in like a cyan color. It is um, delicate best for gentle cleansing and it's made with recycled materials so i got a couple of these we usually get pretty good um an influx of shower poofs but these do feel a little bit more high end even though they're made with recycled materials it feels like very durable um so was happy to find name brand shower puffs because after all this you know you have it for about two three weeks and then you have to switch them out so it's nice to find higher end ones that you can constantly replace these I wanted to try out. These are the ideal bath jumbo size. I wasn't sure if I would like the smaller size better or this one, but I figure for like actual sit down baths, these would be nice to have on hand when you're doing like larger areas like your back or something. So I don't know. I just thought that they looked really nice too. I like this sort of like two tone to it. And if you wanted to just stage your bathroom with these, it would look fuller and more plush. So I got some spring fling plates because I really like this color. <laughs> And I figured they didn't have the yellow, or at least I didn't see the yellow, so these would match well with that. I got this happy Easter sign, um, and to be honest guys, it's looking like Easter might be a skip too. <laughs> I just cannot bring myself to decorate because things have been going so quickly. Life has been moving super fast, changing at every second, and I feel like I want to enjoy the decorations and have them up for at least four weeks now we're only like two weeks away or we, well, where are we we're on the 22nd and easter is in a week like i'm not gonna do all that just to take it back down and i'm not having guests so i think i'm just gonna wait but um for next year so next year will be <laughs> yellow god willing i make it to next year's easter so anyway got this sign i love the galvanized little detailing I like the yellow and the polka dots and it's sort of like a faux wood planks which I thought was cute so and I got some golden eggs which I have passed up so many times before but I felt like um, I may not have had enough um, like little filler moments like little scenes and I wanted to be able to do like a little dairy farm moment but yeah I always have all these ideas and then don't end up executing at least for this year next year I will be back or next season I should say all right can <laughs> Let's talk about Cantu. So, Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Style Stay Frizz Free fish Finisher. This is basically like a sheen, weightless hold for curly or straight styles, non sticky, crunch free, and no white flakes, and humidity resistant. Can't go wrong with this. I know for a fact, um, although that I have not tried this product in particular, if I diffuse my curls and want to wear my fro out, this is going to have me straight. It has shea butter in it. Now, the shampoos is a whole different story, and it so happened, I don't know if you guys know who Javon Ford is, but he's a chemist on social media, and he came out with a video regarding tea tree oil and how it acts when mixed with shampoo. Long story short, not a good idea, don't do it. So I saw that after I picked up this next product before. I did not want to get the tea tree, the other one, but I got this one, but because the other one is so, now it's established that that other product is so bad i'm not sure about this one i don't have color treated hair but i do have curls and i felt like the oil would be fine castor oil in general i don't have a problem with um it says color and curl safe i don't see how this could be so bad but i'm hearing really terrible things so i don't know i will try and let you know i did only pick up two i didn't want to go crazy because i was hearing the negative hubbub early on 
but yeah so the tea tree oil i would skip that one if you saw that one but yeah i picked this one up to try because it's just castor oil like how bad could it be i don't know it's a sales order book um by jot just because like I, I really don't know there have been a couple of times in life as an adult that i needed like a sales receipt that i just wrote on a post-it and signed it <laughs> but i figured this would be nice to have these heart-shaped straws you get a 12 count obviously missed the boat for valentine's i think these came out late anyway so i probably would not have found them in time if i had decorated but yeah these are by the company every day which i think is a brand out of walmart oh no actually it's green briar so i don't know but i thought these were fun and wish we would have seen them earlier these are the hawaiian cinch stealer air fresheners that i thought that i did have it just happened to be in another bag not bad but i do like the new car scent of these air fresheners better then i got this guy for five dollars it is a power max 5 mobile phone battery pack high speed usb type c port um it was so cute because the cashier like let me know like, just so you know like this is five that is going to ring up as well i was like oh yeah i figured it's not, it's not a dollar 25 that's fine i still want it so then i got by real techniques these uh sponges it purifies and exfoliates it's a miracle cleansing sponge and it has probiotics which is so interesting that makes it anti -my -my antimicrobial and it lasts up to 30 days so it says remove some purities and polishes pores for smooth makeup application. My advice to you, do not press down on this. It's already textured, so you don't need to like do extra scrubbing. I tend to be kind of heavy handed with skincare and regret it later. Bio Blender uh, by EcoTools is a 100% biodegradable cleansing mitt. This one is for your face. I do have another one for your body. It's just not in this bag. We'll see that later. This is also by Real Technique Sponge. This is to tone and stimulate. Um, and this is with vegan collagen in it. So the silicone micro massager uh, boosts circulation and absorption of products, which is really cool. Like, I really like these. I'm happy to find it for $1.25. I can't imagine spending more than that on it, but I'm really happy to find them and to try them out. It seems like a good skincare product. It makes sense. The glass nail files i got one in green and i picked up a couple for gifts in pink um i just think these look really chic and nice they work the same way as like an emery board nail file um for the most part but these i use these more to shape than anything um and they also look nice to stage like if you're gonna do you know your vanity or even your bathroom like sink or something like that instead of having like the black nail file that has all this dust i think that that too this is more dust free than the black ones but anyway i picked these two up because they are stinking cute i found la keller's vibin um display this is lip liner auto lip liner in kindness and in giggle kindness is like a pink if you can see that and giggle is more of a brownish shade um yeah i learned that i have so many beauty products and like makeup products but not a whole lot of lip liners which is interesting because i used to wear lip liner a lot but now i don't and so i don't have any more so i figured i'd pick these up to try then i got from the same collection sweetie this lipstick and babe now babe is something similar to all of the other lip uh la colors lipsticks in the past like bow and teddy bear and bear with me this reminds me of the, that sort of like collection but sweetie i had an old la colors lipstick that came in a white tube that's how old it was and this reminds me of that color and i absolutely loved it and i hated that i had to get get rid of it because i didn't have a backup but now i do so all is well then I got this one, um, LA Colors. It's from another collection, um, but this is peach. This is, you know, a very regular, simple, nostalgic um, lip gloss. These three by Beauty Intuition is Rosy Nude, Honey Nude, and Sweet Pink. I got all of the other ones from before. I still have not tried them out. <laughs> And I haven't tried these, but I have a feeling and I've heard good things. And actually, no, I think I tried one of them out and I really liked the application of it. It felt more like a high-end lip balm. 
um, than anything, which I like in a lipstick for it to feel like very wearable and casual. So anyway, I picked these three up because I love these colors. Pick these up, get them, they're very comfortable. I don't really mess with the other Dollar Tree flip flops because I feel like they're subpar and it's really dangerous to wear bad flip flops because they can throw you. Um, but yeah, I, these are very nice. I got a 9, 10 in woman. I wear size 10 in, in ladies um, <clears throat> and I can fit these. So if you're worried about that, it's it, it, it's good. And I got a great pair, but I really like these. For $1.25, you keep one in your car, you know, give one to your guests when they come over and wear for your chancletas at home and everything is everything. Love these. These uh, queen and suntan color control top energizing sheer energy legs compression sheer tights. <laughs> that was a lot. Light support leg. And then in queen plus a two pack of the medium support leg. So um, always go ahead and check, you know, the size chart in the back to make sure you're getting the right size for you. But I thought they were very good. And still in the hosiery department, you know I had to pick these up. They're the Zodiacal Glyphs. Um, all 12 are here, it looks like. And then on the other side, you just have like um, midnight sky, like constellations and stars. So I thought these were really cool. These are the extended size ones. Um, so yeah, I got that. I, I wish they were in different colors, to be honest, even different blues, but can't pass this up because it's like my thing. So I got more stickers. This is a nine piece set. I really got it for this lovely TV right here. I just think that is so cool. My grandmother had a Zenith growing up and I still miss that TV to this day. It was so cool. Um, a cassette player, a microphone. It's pretty much like media themed. I'm really getting picky with stickers. So I haven't seen a lot of new ones and I haven't seen a lot of new ones that I like. Um, the green and white makeup brush. The, this is actually like pretty significant. It's like heavier than the older ones. Even the plastic is a little bit more heavy duty. And then we have this purple and white one that I got for a gift. But I think these are really cool and like tray chic. Got this little um, rose gold like detailing, like little hardware detailing, probably just paint, but I appreciate it. I actually got this with St. Patrick's Day and I forgot to actually do anything for it, but um, green apple Jolly Rancher drink mix with zero sugar. Body Bio Blender by Equal Tools, cleansing sponge. Um, and yeah, it just says rinse and hang dry, replace every 30 days, wet the sponge, add body wash, lather, massage all over skin. It's literally just a cleansing sponge for your body which is very cool for $1.25 and then the face one I just showed you and this who did I just see if you know please let me know but I just saw somebody haul this and it made me want to get it and I can't remember who it was darn but it's a thin flashlight it's magnetic it's portable and the batteries are, in are included so you can like stick this down in your purse and it's like so simple so anyway, I thought that was really fun. And I've seen these a thousand times before, so I really wanted to shout this person out because they truly did influence me to buy it. Because I've seen this so many times before and I, I didn't know what it was. It's like legitimately a thin flashlight that works. That is impressive. This oil-free night cream with squalane, vitamin C, and vitamin E. It's so interesting because there's another one with witch hazel and rose out there, but they made that one blue and they made this one pink. So this Dermacell Labs is a really good, I haven't had any issues out of them. Um, very like clean products, nothing crazy. And this was developed with dermatologists. So. This Butter Clouds Compound, Silky Buttery Compound. This is in a new, I've hauled this before, but this is a new scent. This is in Fairy Dust Cotton Candy. Now, if you see this right here, the We Cool down here, the other ones that I hauled did not have that. So I don't think this is an original, but I think this is a collaboration with Compound Kings because it says distributed by Greenbrier here. So I'm like, whoa, I guess this must have been like subcontracted or licensed somehow through Dollar Tree. But now we are getting Com Compound Kings Butter Clouds more often and in new scents for $1.25, which I think is absolutely fantastic. I opened one and this is that one. This is Campfire S'mores. It smells exactly like Campfire S'mores, smell it. Take a big whiff and it is so spongy and cool and fun. If you see this, even if you do not have children, especially if you're a stressor 
or you just like even if you're on the phone and you just want to do something with your hands it is so fun it's foamy it's not even if your kids want slime and you're like nah because slime is not a good time this is easy cleanup it's not going to get all over the place now that you know i'm a large child um <laughs> apparently dollar tree has licensed um compound king's butter cloud so so fun I got this happy Easter, hoppy Easter or happy. Um, best wishes for a bright and happy Easter. And these are the homemade ones by Wala. And the truck, which I felt like we were all being brainwashed by the whole truck placements for seasonal holidays. So I'm surprised that I even picked this up, but here we are. It's just simple and sweet. And I love the plaid in the background. And I love the fact that it like, it's 3D, it pops out. I just thought this was so fun and cute. Yeah, good deal. That was a large haul. I do have more for you, so please stay tuned. Go ahead and subscribe, like, let the algorithm know that you're interested in seeing my videos, and hit the notification bell because I'm so tiny, you might not get notified that I even uploaded. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.